Good morning and welcome to the very first show of Living Local Carolina, your insider's look at local people, places, and businesses. We're so excited to be bringing you a new lifestyle show right here on News 13. Keep in mind, a lot of these stories were pre-taped prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, but stick around and we hope you enjoy the show. Oh, there's something so real about living local, about the people and the places where we live. Just look at all the reasons why we call this home. And I love it, living local. I'm living local cause it's where I love to be. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Living Local. So today we're getting with my good friend Charlotte Jones. She is the seamstress and designer extraordinaire in Myrtle Beach. We're going to find out a little bit about her backstory and some of the design process. So let's go meet her. Hey Miss Charlotte, how are Hi. you? So good to see you. Thank you. So Charlotte, explain to me, give me your story. Where did you learn how to sew? Well, I mean, I grew up in a, a generation where we all, you know, our parents, our moms sewed, you know, they worked. My mother worked in a, a sewing factory in a hosiery mill. And so I learned basics from her and, and learned how to do just sew by pattern, as we all did back in the day. Right. Then I went to work in the textile factories as well, and I worked in a garment factory. So we made mm. clothing that went to Sears, J.C. Penney, lots of Aww. lots of your staple companies. Yeah. Yes. What's all the Snoopy stuff? Explain this to me. <laughs> My very first job in Myrtle Beach in 1995 was Snoopy's Magic on Ice. Yes. I came here in 1996 with the theaters and the shows. I'm working with the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. This is my 22nd year there. And what do you do with them? I do all the names on the jerseys. It's all been a learning process because fashion and costuming all change. I mean, when I worked with the ice show, ice costumes are very different from dance costumes. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got gymnastics and tumbling, you've got to have a four-way stretch and some of these things. I work with professional wrestlers. And so wrestling gear is different too because, you know, you can't pop a seam, it's got to be able to stay up. I have probably 20 Elvises that I have costumed over the years. Um, and I know you have this here, so you go to Japan every mm -hmm. year, right? I have been, the last three years in December, I've been over working a, uh, a Christmas show called Christmas Wonderland okay. for Spirit Productions. But I do, like all the alterations, the, the cast will fly in, they'll rehearse here, I'll do the fittings here, and then everything is packed and crated and shipped to Tokyo. And then we get to Tokyo, we do one more set of fittings, and then I'll stay and get, uh, until the show gets opened. I usually stay until about the second day. And, and uh, you go to New York, how many times a year would you say? Six, eight times a year. Just to, to get, get fabric. To get fabric. And, and why so that New we York? get the best. Because you have the, the newest fabrics, the best quality, I know exactly what I'm getting. And I can go up and get, like if I'm doing a show and I need, you know, 75 different fabrics, Try to sit down and order all that. No. And then over here, okay, so before we started filming, you were telling me about this bra, and I said, stop, <laughs> you have to stop talking because we have to get this. They used it at, at Pink in the Park with the Pelicans. They've used it for the American Cancer Society. A lot of different organizations in town have borrowed the bra to use. Um, it's about six feet wide. It's um, hilarious. So I, I love that to it's next to the normal size bra, I know. so you can really <laughs> see how ginormous this thing is. And you yes. said there were hula hoops in there. Yeah. That's that what we so created fun. the cups with. Mm -hmm. So over here we mm -hmm. have Save the Stand. So this mm -hmm. is one of the movies you've worked on? Yes, this was a movie and then she they also did another one called Becoming Mrs. Bennett, which is kind of a parody um, of Pride and Prejudice. Okay. And so that one I did a lot of the costumes in the show, the, the period costumes. Well very cool. Yeah. So I'd love to see more of the shop and kind of where you do your magic. Can we okay. kind of mosey on sure. over there? Okay. All right, Certainly. let's go. So this is where people kind of come in and get mm -hmm. fit in? Yes, this is our dressing room area. Um, they generally bring in, we'll hang dresses, hang things here. They'll go into the, to the area behind the curtains and change clothes, come out to the pedestal and in front of the mirrors. And the this, is where, this is where they stand and we'll do the pinning, fitting, um, or, if, or just consultations if, you know, if they're having something created and you're just getting to know them. Some of these are just extras and odd things. Some are dance costumes. Pa this is pageant girl That's costume. Cool. Um, this is the set of costumes for Carolina Forest High School. What was the production? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. I don't, know, I don't know what the dance moves are for Mamma Mia, but that's all I got. <laughs> One of my favorite clients is from Legends in Concert, and he plays Barry White, and we create these amazing suits for him. It oh, wow. takes 
17 hours plus to put all the rhinestones on his about 25,000 stones oh individually glued but it is really cool because you know it's it's wonderful to be a part of things that can't be replaced right well I'm gonna let Miss Charlotte get back to work if you'd like to get in contact with her just check out the information on your screen thanks for watching living local we'll be right back